All right, I have a 64 channel NVR. Here's the firmware version that I'm using on it. And I have a 4K camera that, uh, here's the firmware version on that. And so on my NVR, I have IPC time sync enabled and I have the camera here and I purposely messed up the time. And here's the date, uh, I purposely messed up the date and the time. And here's the uh, date for today, it's January 29th, 2020. I'm going to go and add the camera. I have it pulled up in Smart PSS. I'm going to go in a remote device and I'm going to add it as channel 64. So it adds my camera, I know that. All right, now it added the camera, as you can see here. So I'm going to go live into the camera and it syncs the time perfectly fine. As long as I have time sync enabled on my NVR, the camera will get the time from the NVR if you're adding it correctly, even if you manually add it, no matter what IP address it's on. So if I go back into these settings, I'm going to just log back in and show it to you. It's not going to update all the DST, NTP, etc. It's just going to update the date and the time, and it will do it at a certain interval that the NVR has stored inside. And that interval is usually uh, every 24 hours or so. But you can also uh, decrease that increment if you wanted to to keep better track of time. That's one. And hit save or OK if you wanted that changed. The other thing is, if you wanted a better time kept here, you should configure your NTP settings as such. These are the correct settings for Eastern time zone. Minus six is central, minus seven is mountain standard, and minus eight is um, uh, Pacific. So you need to set your DST settings as such, and then your NTP server should be time.windows.com. We know that works. And then you can change your interval how often the NVR pings the NTP server for a correct time. In this case, it's 60 minutes. If you're very uh, cautious about what you need it to be, you can even do five minutes. Just make sure that your uh, network allows access to an NTP server and it's not being blocked. Some networks or even some network uh, internet service providers will block this. I've seen that, so just be careful. And that's pretty much it. This is how you add a camera to an NVR and have it uh, time synced properly. There's really not much you need to do in terms of configuring settings on the individual cameras. The NVR takes care of all that. Thanks for watching.